Welcome to another video from Robotic Mower Services. I got the top cover here off of a 300 series auto mower because today what we're going to show you is how to test this harness for your charging contacts in the nose of your auto mower. That would be this assembly right here. This is the way they sell it. As of right now, there are no other ways to get this. You have your charging contacts, the harness, the grommet, the, the connector, everything all in one unit and that's the way that it gets shipped out to you ready to assemble into the nose of your auto mower. This connector plugs into the harness inside the chassis of the auto mower and it goes up in underneath your, your magnet holder which holds the contacts into place up there. So what you want to do here is a simple continuity resistance check to make sure you don't have too much resistance in your wiring harness. One side of this harness is positive, one side is negative. There's a brown wire and there's a blue wire. You can see in here on this one, you can see where the brown wire is at, but basically when you go to do a resistance test, you're going to know if you're on the right one or not, unless you have no resistance between either one of these and either of the contacts up above there. Um, being that I know which side is which, uh, it's, it's easier for me. You know, I know that this is going to be the side that's got the uh, brown wire attached to it. This will be the side with the blue wire attached to it. Uh, what we're going to do here, as I said, is we're going to show you how to do this continuity test. You get your multimeter. You want to set this to ohms because you're looking for continuity uh, and resistance. Uh, hopefully you can see that there. Just do a quick test here. Where are we at there? We're at about one, so that's everything looks to be working good there. So we're going to stick one probe in here to one of the, the pins inside of our connector. Uh, we'll start with the brown one. So we got the one in there, and then we'll come up here to the side that has the, the contact uh, with the brown wire on it. And we have one ohm of resistance, just under one ohm, so that's good to go. Now, see, like I was saying, if you don't know which one's which, there's no voltage coming through here. You're just checking for resistance. If you'd go to the wrong one, you would get no continuity. And now if we switch over to the blue one, and we go to this opposite side, we'll test it. There we go, one, uh, just under one ohm of resistance, so that side is good too. But again, you know, if I, if I didn't have the right one, if I came to the wrong side, I would get no continuity. And at that point, you'd want to check to make sure you're actually touching the, the pin in your connector or that you have, you know, some kind of connection here. If you would get the no continuity, you know, you, you pick a pin to stick one of your probes into and you don't get continuity on either side, then you've definitely got an issue there somewhere in that harness. But... Uh, move this out of the way here and show you on this one here If you did have high resistance where you're testing that you would take this thing out of The nose of the mower take it out of the body and then you would test it individually You know you would, you would go to your plug and you would come up here And then you would test at the end of the wire here on this connector here That's crimped onto the wire and see what your resistance is there and then you would go to this um this screw right here that connects the the charging contacts let me hold this up a little closer so this is what I was saying here you would go from you would go from this connector where your brown wire is at and then you come up here to the other end of the brown wire to this this um, terminal here that's crimped onto the wire test your continuity there and if everything is good there you have like your one ohm of resistance then you would go from from this end to your screw right here because this is going to go into and through that plate that threads into that plate so that should be making contact and that should have continuity without a, a lot of resistance in it and then from there it would be from that that pin to this plate which is actually the same plate coming over here that this connects into if you have good if you have good resistance when i say good resistance that one ohm or less from your connector up here to this end of your wire where this this terminal is crimped onto the wire then what you would want to do is take this screw out and just clean up the terminal here on this wire and clean up your plate and the screw because that means there's moisture in underneath there you got some corrosion and that just needs to be taken care of and you'd want to do that for both sides uh, i'll show you here on this one because this one actually did have a problem <laughs> So we'll start here with uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. we'll start here with the blue one. Test the blue wire, and if we come out here to the terminal, 
Let's see here. Oh, yeah, it's this is some super high resistance on this one. Let me get this to a good spot here where it won't move around on me. I'm not getting good contact on that pin right there. This was actually one that was melted, and that's why I wanted to show you, you know, one with the high resistance, because this one actually was affected. Um, it had high resistance, and it ended up melting. So the side with the brown wire is, if you can get in there just right, it's actually good, but you come over to the side with the blue one, and it's got all this plastic melted to it because it got hot because of all the high resistance. And you can see there, we're at, we're at 7 ohms, of resistance so this is a bad one this one would fail and this would be one where like I said if you get that your next step would be to come here to this terminal right here it's crimped onto the end of the wire and you can see there we're good oh, get back here that again so it's there to the end of the wire we're good but it's between the end of the wire and the plate itself where we have the the high resistance and um, that's why we'd want to take this take this screw out, clean everything up, and see what was going on there. But once you hit that point where where your resistance gets too high to where it starts to melt like this one did, then you're done. You have to replace this harness. Um, you want to check the connector on the harness inside the mower, inside the chassis. If it's melted, you're going to have to replace it too. So that's how you do that. It's real simple. You just need a multimeter, do a simple resistance check. You want to have one ohm or less between the connector to out here where this makes contact with the the uh, charging station connections and that's it so if you're looking for this part right here your your charging contacts for your mower um, we have them available on our website www.roboticmowerservices.com uh, we also have the inner harness. We have uh, just about any part you can need for an auto mower. And if you don't see it on our website, there's plenty of ways on the website that you can reach out to us. Uh, you can send us a message directly from the website. You can click one of the links to send us an email at roboticmowerservices at gmail.com. And uh, if you don't see what you're looking for there, we'll help you get hooked up with the parts you need. If you need a little bit more help diagnosing this issue, you can also shoot us an email, roboticmowerservices at gmail.com, and we'll try to help you out the best we can to get you back up and mowing. So that's going to do it for this video here. Hopefully that helps you guys out because this is, this is a component that's involved in um, no charging issues and in the, uh, the new charging current supervisor feature. You know, where the mower goes into the charging station, it sits there for like 20 seconds, it backs out, and then it goes, wanders around a little bit, tries to dock again, backs out after 20 seconds, and then finally gives up and says there's a charging station error or the charging station blocked. This is a component that can cause an issue with that because that charging station current supervisor is looking for uh, a certain amount of charging current coming through, and if you have high resistance in one of these wires, like I just showed you that this one does, that is going to keep that from getting the proper amount of charging current into the battery and cause that mower to back out and, um, and not dock properly. It could be this, it could be several other things, but this is definitely a component in that system that you could have an issue with. So that's why it's important to know how to test this to make sure that either it isn't causing that issue or it could be part of it and you're replacing the, the proper parts rather than just throwing parts at it and hoping for the best. Um, so yeah, that's going to do it for this video here. Any questions, you can feel free to reach out to us. You can comment on this video. Uh, you can send us an email, roboticmowerservices at gmail.com. Be sure to subscribe to this channel, and thanks for watching.